students now let us see some interesting facts about frogs frogs are amphibians amphibian means two lives one on land and one in the water tadpoles have tails but frogs do not have tails tadpoles have gills but frogs breathe air with lungs frogs have powerful back legs to help them hop the change from tadpole to frog is called metamorphosis a frog has four webbed feet now let us see some interesting facts about fish fish breathe under water using gills and not with the lungs they live in water fish have scales and fins they don't have hair or fur they are cold blooded and they lay many eggs there are two major characters in this story one is fish and the other one is frog so let us see the outputs of this lesson fish is fish first one right? oops Woods means forest. Minnow. Minnow means a very small freshwater fish. Minnow means small fish. The fish lives in freshwater. Tap. Tap pole. The young form of a frog. Tap pole means the young form of a frog. Inseparable. Always together. So inseparable means always together. So we can't able to separate the two things. So the two things always together. Discover, find out. Discover means to find out something. Bank, the side of a river. Bank means the two sides of the river. Extraordinary, extraordinary means amazing. Here unusual. Extraordinary means. Amazing or unusual. Amazing means wonderful. Amazing means wonderful. Weightless, having no weight. Weightless means having no weight. Sight, to breathe deeply with a nose. So these are the adverbs in this lesson. Fish is fish. Let us repeat it once again. Woods, forest. We know a very small water, fresh water fish. Tadpole, the young form of a frog. Inseparable, always together. Discover, find out. Bang, the sight of a river. Extraordinary, amazing or unusual. Amazing, wonderful. Weightless, harming. No way. Sir, to breathe deeply with the nose. These are the adverbs in this story. Let us see the story. Let us learn the first lesson. The name of the lesson is Fish is Fish. Repeat after me children. Fish is Fish. Narrator 1. So there are two narrators in this story. So tell me children what is mean by narrator? Narrator means the storyteller. Storyteller 1. At the edge of the woods there was a pond and there a minnow and a 
tadpole swam among the weeds they were inseparable friends one morning the tadpole discovered that during the night he had grown two little legs so the narrator one is telling at the edge of the woods here woods means small forest there was a pond so at the edge of the small forest there was a pond and there was a minnow here minnow means small fish that fish lives in fresh water and a tadpole here tadpole means the younger form of a frog so there are two major characters in the story one is minnow the small fish and the tadpole here tadpole is the younger form of the frog swam among the weeds they were inseparable friends so the small fish and the tadpole were inseparable friends inseparable means always together so the two things are always together one morning the tadpole discovered that that during the night he had grown two little legs so one fine morning the tadpole find out that during the last night he had grown two little legs frog with excitement the frog is telling with excitement look look i am a frog fish replied nonsense how could you be a frog if only last night you were a little fish just like me the fish is telling that you were a little fish at the last night now how how could you be a frog frog well frog is frog and fish is fish that is that narrator one in the week that followed the tadpole grew tiny front legs and his tail got smaller and smaller and then one fine day he became a frog and climbed out of the water into the grassy bank so look at the picture in the week that followed the tadpole grew tiny front legs look at the legs and his tail got smaller and smaller and then one fine day he became a full fledged frog and climbed out of the water into the grassy bank here bank means the side of a river narrator to the mino too had grown and became a full grown fish he often wondered where is four footed friend had gone so in the narrator to is telling the mino had grown and became a full grown fish he often wandered he often searched his four footed friend who is four footed friend the frog fish i wandered where my four footed friend went i am so lonely down here in the pond all my myself why did he leave me what's so good about being out of the pond anyway it's been days and weeks and my friend has still not returned where could he possibly be so the little fish is in search of in search of his four footed friend narrator too then one day with a happy splash that shook the weeds frog jumped in the pond fish where have you been so one day the fish found his four footed friend so the frog jumped into the pond the fish found finally found his four footed friend frog with excitement 
I have been around the world, hopped here and there, and I have seen extraordinary things. Fish with jealousy hum like what? Frog, birds, I have seen birds. They have wings and can fly about. Birds have two legs and have many, many beautiful colors on their feathers. So the frog, the frog told with the excitement, I have been seen around the world and, and I have hopped here and there. The frog can hop. So the frog hopping here and there and the frog has seen many extraordinary things. Extraordinary means amazing things. Fish replied with jealousy. Hmm, like what? Frog, birds, I have been, I have seen birds. So, the frog replied, I have seen more birds. They have wings. The birds have wings and can fly about. Birds have two legs. So tell me children, birds have how many legs? Birds have two legs and they can fly above the sky. And they have many, many colors on their feathers. Narrator 1, as frog talked, his friend fish saw the birds fly through his mind like large feathered fish. So look at the picture. So, as frog talked, his friend fish saw the birds fly through his mind like large feathered fish. Frog. Birds are amazing creatures. The frog said that birds are amazing creatures. Here amazing means wonderful, marvelous creature. Fish impatiently. What else? Frog. Well, there were cows. After birds, the frog seen some cows. Fish. Fr cows. Frog. Yes, cows. They have four legs. So, the birds have two legs. The cows have four legs. Like me. They, they even have horns. And they eat grass and carry pink bags of milk. Ho! Oh, and people, men, women and children, they have two legs and two eyes and can walk on land. They wear funny things on their bodies and some even wear things on their heads it is so very interesting out of there so the frog seeing after birds some cows and people so cows have four legs and they have horns and they eat grass and the cows carry pink bags of milk so the frog seeing some people Men, women and children. They have how many legs? They have two legs and two eyes. And the people can walk on land with the help of two legs. They wear funny things. The people wear funny clothes on their bodies. And even they wear things on their heads. It is so very interesting out of there. Narrator 1, frog talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the pictures in fish's mind were full of lights and colorful things. So the narrator 1 is telling the frog talked and talked until it was dark. It means until it was night. 
in the pond where the pictures in fishes mind were full of lights and colorful things frog well it is time for me to go to bed so the frog said that it is time to go to bed good night to fish fish good night my friend to himself oh my how am i going to sleep it sounds amazing out of there if only i could jump about like my friend frog and see that wonderful world so the frog thought that he can jump out of the pond then only he can see the wonderful world like this frog like this friend frog oh my oh my oh my he thought that how can i jump out of the pond narrated to that night when fish did fall asleep he dreamed of wonderful things flying feathered fish cow fish with horns and two eyes and pink bags of milk and men women and children fish that could walk upright and wear interesting things on their bodies and heads so on that night the fish dreamed of many things flying feathered fish cow fish with horns and two eyes and pink bag of milk and women and children fish that could walk upright and wearing interesting things on their bodies and head narrator 1 and so the day went by frog had gone and fish lay there dreaming about birds in flight grassing cows and those strange animals all dressed up like his friend called people so the fish dreamed like dream all these things narrator to one day he finally decided that come what may he too must see them and so with my hack of tail he jumped clear out of the water on the bank fish here i go i have to see all that my friend frog told me 1 2 3 so the fish said 1 2 3 then he jumped out of the pond he thought that he want to see the friends that told by the frog narrator to here land narrator to he landed on the dry worn grass and there he lay gasping for air unable to breathe or to move so the so the fish landed on the dry worn grass and there he lay gasping for air unable to breathe or to move fish gasping short of breath hell ha 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 hell so the fish came out of the pond and he struggled a lot for a lot for in short of breath frog ho oh, silly fish what happened then the frog saw the little fish and came helped and helped the little fish here we go back to the pond 1 2 3 then the frog helped the little fish then both the frog and the fish went back to the pond narrator one still afraid fish floated about for a minute then he breathed deeply 
letting the clean cool water run through his gills so the fish breathe through his gills so after went back to the pond the fish still afraid and he breathe deeply letting the clean cool water run through his gills now he felt weightless again and with an e ever so slight motion of the tail he could move to and fro up and down as before then only the little fish fail before as he lived in the pond frog fish are you okay the frog asked the fish are you okay what were you doing out on land you were a fish so the fish said that you are a fish what were you doing out on land narrator 2 fish side on smile here side means to breathe deeply with a nose frog fish did you hear me frog asked the fish did you hear me fish yes yes you are right frog my friend fish is fish i will live in the water and enjoy the beauty of the world so finally the little fish agreed the point of the frog fish is fish the fish can live in only in the water and the fish can enjoy the beautiful world by living in the water only finally the fish agreed his mistake so tell me children what is the moral of the story be yourself don't compare yourself with others be unique in your own way so don't compare yourself with others in a beautiful pond lived a minnow and a tadpole they were very good friends One day the tadpole showed the minnow his two tiny legs which he had grown overnight. Minnow was so surprised to see them. He couldn't believe that his tadpole friend that looked like him now has two legs. The tadpole continued to grow as days went by till he became a full grown frog and jumped out of the pond. The minnow also grew into a full-grown fish, but he could not leave his pond. He missed his friend very much. Several weeks later, Frog came back to the pond to see his minnow friend. Frog narrated his exciting experience in the world outside the pond. He had seen birds with colorful feathers. cows with pink bags of milk and people with funny hats and clothes when minnow heard this he felt jealous and upset that he couldn't see all of these amazing things after frog said goodbye to minnow minnow thought for many days about what frog had said minnow thought that he must somehow see the amazing things that frog had talked about so minnow leaped out of the pond one day with all his strength but alas minnow couldn't breathe out of water he cried for help frog heard minnow's sound and came hopping to rescue his friend both frog and minnow went back into the pond minnow could finally breathe again minnow realized that fish is fish and frog is frog he decided to live in the pond and enjoy the beautiful things in the pond have you all enjoyed the story today okay this is for your home assignment Write down the keywords, synonyms, antonyms, past tense, and.
and question and answer in your class work book. So how to complete keywords, synonyms, antonyms, past tense, and finally question and answer in your English English class work book. Right, meet the children. We will meet in the next class. Have a nice day. Thank you.